Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Today we're going to be making an identity card and this is basically like an ID card for anybody in the magical world. It doesn't have to be a Ministry of Magic or anything like that. It's just for magical people and magical beings. You could even use this for like a werewolf identity card or like any magical creature as well as uh, witches, wizards and, and everything else. So I based the design for this identity card on like old military IDs. I think that's what it was, a military ID that I found um, online, just pictures of it and stuff. And I loved the way it looked. And so, yeah, this is from like the 1920s. So I based the idea for this around that, as well as it's also loosely based on the uh, Ministry of Magic ID. So anyways, this is a completely original design by me, and I hope you guys like it. Now, because this is a completely original design, I can put this on my Etsy shop. So yeah, if you guys are just wanting to buy this and don't really want to put it together yourself and, you know, pay for the ink and all that stuff or pay for the prints, then I can put this together for you, customize it, put your photo on it, uh, whatever you want me to do, and that's going to be over on my Etsy shop. Anyway, if you do like this video, make sure you give it a like down below, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. All of these things really do help, and I very much appreciate them. Random fact about me for this video is, you know that Snape, like full-size uh, cardboard cutout of Snape, the DIY that I did a while back, last year I think? Well, I still have that around the house. I actually let a friend of mine have it and he borrowed it for a really long time, just recently gave it back to me. But every time I have it, before and now, <laughs> um, it sits in the room where I'm recording this video, my little office studio slash whatever. and. Um, when I get up in the middle of the night, it's like down the hallway from my bedroom. So like I'll like get up and have to go to, to, to use the bathroom or something. And every single time without fail, that thing makes me like kind of like jump for a second or like it, it like makes my heart stop for like just a second because there's this tall, dark figure standing in the other room. Then I realize, oh yeah, that's Snape. For the downloads for this video, you're going to get a blank template for you to fill in yourself however you would like to, but it's just a flat file, just a flat PDF file. So you could pull that into Photoshop or whatever image editing software you have and you can modify it that way. But if you want the templates, the Photoshop files, the original templates that I use, which includes you know, the fonts and, and different layers and stuff for you to sort of mess around with that, uh, you can get that on Patreon. There are a couple of different tiers over there that I think you might be interested in if, if you like to design your own things or you'd like to use some of the assets that I've created. Those are over on Patreon. Anyways, go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need as well as the download links to the free templates and let's get started. And so this DIY is really easy. Um, of course, you wanna print the templates and here's the front of the identity card. This is printed on cardstock. I used 110 pound cardstock. That was the thickest I could find, but the thicker the better for this. And then here's the back. It's just the inside of that cover. And then we have the ID itself, which is right here. And this is just printed on regular paper, also double-sided. And I printed these at home on my laser printer. So if you're interested in what kind of printer I used for this, uh, the link for that's in the description box below. It is an affiliate link from, for Amazon. So um, basically what that means is if you use my link, I will get commission, but it doesn't cost you anything more. It's just that I referred you to Amazon to buy it. So Amazon gives me a little bonus for doing that. So if you, if you want to help support my channel, use my affiliate links. They're all in the description box. Everything in there, it, uh, those are all Amazon affiliate links for all the supplies and everything. So yeah, if you're planning on buying it anyway, if you're planning on getting it from Amazon, use my link. It helps me out. Anyways, yeah, this is going to be super easy. Um, so we've got these printed out, um, and then we're just going to cut them out however you want. If you want a nice clean edge, I suggest using either a paper cutter or a ruler and X-Acto knife. Um, since this is just two sheets, it's gonna be super easy to use a ruler and X-Acto knife to do this. Looks like I need to, uh, this didn't cut all the way through. It looks like I need to replace the blade on my X-Acto knife. There we go. And so basically what I'm doing here to get these cut out is I'm just pushing down uh, with my ruler as hard as I can, basically, um, just to get 
the paper to stay still underneath so it's not shaking around or moving around while I'm trying to cut it. And then you just follow along the edge of the ruler with your X-Acto knife. And I'm gonna go over it a couple of times. And there we go. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing with the identity card here. Okay, so now we've got uh, both of these printed out and cut. Basically what you wanna do is take the cover for your, your identity card and then fold it in half. There we go. So now we've got this folded in half, ready to go. So now what you wanna do is line up uh, where the front of the cover of the identity card is. You want to line up that on the other side with your photos. So it should look like this. The uh, cover of the identity card is here and then your photos are right here on the inside. So go ahead and line that up as best as you can. And then we'll just take a paper clamp and clamp those together. And then we'll just take a stapler and we're going to put two staples in here to make sure that these uh, stick together. And now we can remove the paper clamp. And as you can see, the staples are just right there on the edge. So if I fold the identity card over, this stays in there. And then we'll fold one more time in with the uh, leftover part of the inside of the identity card. And there we go. You have your magical identity card. And again, you can use this for like anything. If you want to use it for a werewolf character, you can do that. If you want to use it for like a mermaid or whatever, you can do that too. But then it opens up like this, <laughs> upside down. No, it opens up like this. And then you've got all of your information right in there. And basically I based this design, like I said, on a 20s military ID. But also I heavily base this on obviously uh, the wizarding world. So the outside of this is based on the um, uh, Ministry of Magic ID, but then also the inside is based on the Makusa ID because you turn it like this and open it up and it opens downward like this, just like the Makusa ID does. So it's kind of a, a hybrid of the two plus my own ideas and inspiration from other things. I really hope you like this one. I really like doing uh, things that are my own original designs as well as the replicas. I love doing replicas as well, but it just seems a little bit more enjoyable for me from a designing standpoint to just create my own just because it's, it's fun to make things, just to make it up on my own. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, use it for your cosplay or anything else you'd like to use it for, except you cannot sell it. I feel like I shouldn't even have to say that, but people do it, so don't sell this. You didn't do the work. It doesn't belong to you. Don't sell it. And I'm not talking to you in particular. I'm sorry if it came off that way. I'm just talking to the people who actually come here to sell the stuff that I make. If you're not one of those people, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. But if you are one of those people, stop it. If you'd like a chance at winning a customized uh, magical registration identity card, customized by me, sent to you, uh, there's a monthly giveaway link in the description box below. Speaking of giveaways, I have other giveaways down there as well for you to take a look at. We have the 45K giveaway, which is for a Gilderoy Lockhart pop figure, framed photograph, and his Defense Against the Dark Arts quiz. On top of that, I also have a 50K giveaway coming up for a Muggle Magic Mystery Box. And this is basically just like a subscription box catered by me. And two of the items in it are going to be completely uh, designed by me, obviously, but uh, completely new. So I haven't released them on my channel yet. You'd be the first one to see them. So if you're interested in that, the links are in the description box as well. Let's go ahead and end this video with the featured comment from my last DIY, which was for the potion spice labels. So the featured comment is from Bella198625. Bella says, hey Danny, which of the books is your favorite? That is kind of a difficult question because I like them all, but actually um, I would say Prisoner of Azkaban is probably my favorite. I really like that one, but I also really, really like the Deathly Hollows. So I think it would be b between Prisoner of Azkaban and Deathly Hollows. <laughs> and really that just depends on my mood when I'm like, what I'm in the mood for. So yeah, those are my two favorite and I can't really pick one between the two of those. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite book is from the series.
Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.